find the book. The book is a little tiny book about a very religious Jew who was sent into the Soviet uh, prison camp system called the uh, the Archipelago, the concentration camps that Solzhenitsyn was in. Called he named it the Gulag Archipelago. And the rabbi lived there 16 years and he survived it. An old man. If he could survive living in the ice and the snow in Siberia and working like a devil for nothing, just for being religious, you can survive a, a Biden. So stop complaining so much that life's too hard for you. I don't want to hear it anymore from all these complaining conservatives. Get a pair of balls, for Christ's sakes. I can't find this book. I can't find the book. I want to show you this book, and I can't put my finger on it. All right. Well, here it is. Not. Got it. I 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 got the book. I got the book. I have so many books in this. So I don't leave this particular house. Everything I like is, is more or less here. And my books are here. My papers are here. You know, I, I know where things are. Here's this little book, and I'm trying to sell you a book. My Gulag Life, Stories of a Soviet Prisoner by Reb Mendel Futafas. I never heard of the man. It was sent to me by one of my religious friends. Yes, I read Worlds in Collision and Earth and Upheaval. It was one of the principal books of my life, Liberty, 1776. I read Earth and Upheaval and Worlds in Collision. Velikovsky, one of the great minds of all time. God blessed me with much pain and heartache, and because of my time in the Gulag, many health issues. If I move my hand the wrong way, it can cause pain in another area. I learned that a person needs to be careful about every move they make. Who knows what effects it will have? Little things like that are in this little book. I'm not trying to sell you a book. I don't make any money off it. But I'm trying to tell you something. If this man could survive the Gulag Archipelago, Reb Mendel Futafas, eight years in the Soviet Gulag, 17 years separation from his family, punishment for his work in Chabad's clandestine yeshivas, released from the Soviet Union, in 1963, he eventually rebuilt his life as a men mentor in Israel, where he drew on his experiences to inspire a new generation of Hasidim, my life in the Gulag. You know, all you got to do is look at the cover, and you can learn from it. Oh, I don't feel good today. I didn't have my... Uh... What, what didn't you have? Your pablum. First of all, you can survive anything. The first thing you should know is if this old man could survive his years in the gulag, you can survive anything that's thrown at you in this country, period. So stop bolt complaining. I don't want to hear it anymore. Toughen up. Get ready for what's coming because what's coming is going to be a, a thousand times worse than what you could imagine.